Hello, I'm Wang from Talk Cars. We're going to have a chat about tyres and we'll be specifically looking at tyre pressures and why people add nitrogen to their tyres and whether this is a good idea. So maintaining your tyre pressure is very important. You'll always find inside a car there's a little panel somewhere that will show you the typical tyres that the manufacturer recommends. It's usually two or three different rim sizes. Um, in my case it's 17 inch or 18 inch rims. There's also a, a choice of tread widths and tyre profiles. So you just look down the chart until you find yours and there's different conditions. So a fully loaded car will need higher pressures or if you're doing a lot of motorway driving, you need to increase those pressures a little. And it'll recommend typically a different pressure for the front and the rear of the car. So pay close attention to this and make sure that your car is always within those PSIs. Bear in mind that those markings indicate cold pressures. When a tire warms up, the pressure will increase. So most people will go to a garage to check their tire pressures. And unless it's a short journey, your tire has started to warm up. So it's, it's possible to get your tire pressure spot on at the garage. And then when you come home and measure it, you'll notice that it's a few PSI out. We've also heard from people who fill their tires with nitrogen. Now, nitrogen molecules are larger than oxygen molecules. So you don't get the same seepage or loss of pressure over time but we don't really think it's worth going to that. Standard air that you pump into your tire is 78% nitrogen anyway, and about 20% oxygen. So as the oxygen and the smaller air molecules dissipate, you'll have a higher concentration of nitrogen in your tire anyway, and you'll go to the garage and top that up. And then as that leaks out, your concentration of nitrogen will increase naturally anyway. Nitrogen doesn't make the tires any significantly lighter. The only benefit is they're less prone to the temperature variation in pressures and they maintain their pressure over a longer period of time. If your tyre pressures are wrong, you'll notice you get uneven wear pattern across the tread. So higher pressures will typically wear the centre of the tyre out more quickly and lower pressure tends to put the wear and tear on the edge of the tyre. So if you regularly measure the tyre tread depth across the tread pattern, you can actually determine whether you typically over inflate or under inflate your tyres. So we really hope that this video has been useful to you. So please stay tuned if you want to keep tuning your car and keeping it working at its optimum efficiency. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We've got lots of other interesting videos planned and coming up that you'll certainly find beneficial and helpful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.